Joining me now, three of the best political analysts, all CNN contributors from Nashville, Tennessee, Professor of Political Science and Law at Vanderbilt University, Professor Carol Swain, good to have Hi. you with us here in Great. New York with me, Democratic strategist, Democratic National Committeeman, Robert Zimmerman, good to have you with us, and syndicated columnist and Lehman College journalism professor, Miguel Perez, good to have you with us. Let's, uh, let's start with, first of all, uh, Carol, with you. Uh, a, a, new, <laughs> a new Supreme Court justice will be appointed by a former professor of law by the name of President Barack H. Obama. Uh, an exciting moment. Uh, how important is this? It gives him a great opportunity to make an, a, a historical appointment of a minority. I'm sure that it will be a racial or ethnic minority and, and maybe a woman as well. Yeah, I, our Jeffrey Tubin, our, our legal analyst here, hazard uh, six guesses, all women uh, of various ethnicity and races. Uh, what, what happened to meritocracies? Why is there a racial, ethnic, gender uh, blocking, uh, do you think, on the Supreme Court? What's, what's that about? I don't right. think, if I, if I may say, Lou, I think it's to Barack Obama's credit that he considers uh, racial, ethnic, gender issues and making the choice because there's no conflict between a meritocracy and choosing diversity. And I think that speaks, I think, to uh, increases the strength of being empathetic. That doesn't replace I, I constitutional it's excellence. It's problematic if, if, if other people are being excluded solely because of race. Uh, that would be problematic. But it, it, it's great. He can have diversity and he can also... Um, you know, consider gender. I agree with that. If there was a test, uh, like cops and firemen are taking tests and the top 20, we knew the you top. You know, I think you've got a great idea. There ought to be a if, test. If there was a test and we knew exactly who the most qualified litmus, candidates for the Supreme Court. A litmus yeah. test there, McDonald. Right, but if we knew who they were, then we could say, listen, it's discriminatory not to pick whoa, the whoa, right whoa, person. But, uh, Wait a minute, okay. whoa, 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 whoa. but But there, there, Lou, there's going to be 20, there's going to be 50 people who are qualified. But so why proof, not the pick the most diverse but you know something, the to, prove the danger, to prove the danger of your, uh, to prove the, the validity of the concern of your point, Lou, is that if we did in fact choose diversity over, meritoc over meritocracy, we'd have Clarence Thomas again. And I think well, our country know. and our Congress See, has learned their lesson. That's almost ideological, but I'm sure you would No, it's objective. <laughs> we wouldn't know because the, uh, the Bar Association rates the candidates. They mm -hmm. have criteria. They will apply the criteria to the candidates that are uh, nominated. Well, it's going to be it's going to be fascinating, uh, and I'm still at a loss how whether you're talking about excluding uh, males or whites or blacks or whomever it may be in any uh, judgment that you would not be uh, limiting the possibility of creating the best answer, uh, irrespective. Uh, but uh, that's just me, <laughs> you know. I'm I'm perhaps uh, out of. Uh, uh, out of sync with the uh, the social current of the day. Uh, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, by the way, if you would listen to this, she got a question about uh, governance, uh, global governance. Listen, listen in, if you would. I believe it still has a lot of very good proposals that probably need to be updated, but recommend to you considering global governance as that as that uh, concept for this administration. Thank you. Well, I can just imagine what Lou Dobbs will say about that. <laughs> you know what? Who cares about Lou Dobbs? I, I agree with that. I was, I was with her right up to, I agree <laughs> with that, Robert Zimmerman. <laughs> and I can tell you, I, I share your sentiments, but this is, I use my excellent sources to try to figure out what the heck that was all about. And the consensus was from very reliable insiders, when, they're, when they say they're not focusing on what you're saying, when they say they don't, they're not listening to you in Washington, they're listening to you. Uh, it's quite a recognition. Uh, I, I, I thought she was copping out because, I mean, she got kind of like a wacky question to begin with about global governance. She didn't want to deal with it, so she picks on you and she says, oh, how would Lou react? Well, what, bothers me what, what we still don't know is how she would react. Yeah, well, uh, you know, good for her. Uh, <laughs> Carol, your thoughts, and then we're going to take a quick they are, break. They are clearly worried about Lou Dobbs. Well, you know, I, you know, I just, it's, it's funny uh, to hear people agreeing with you on the issue of sovereignty. Uh, well, not with me, but with one another on sovereignty. When you're at the State Department and the Defense Department, the Joint, uh, the Joint Command, my God, uh, global governance, my foot. 
We'll be back with our <laughs> panel in just a moment. But first, at the top of the hour, no bias, no bull. Roland Martin in for Campbell Brown. Roland? Hey, Lou, we were also talking about Supreme Court Justice David Souter's decision to retire. President Barack Obama says he wants his nominee to be in place by the start of the new term in October. So coming up, we'll find out what kind of person the president might select, regardless of gender, race, and whether he's headed for a potential confirmation fight. Plus, a side of Condoleezza Rice we've never seen before. We've got tape of a confrontation that's very revealing. You'll see it in just a few minutes. And, of course, college football fans, listen up. Today, one Texas congressman compared the bowl championship series to communism. That's right. We'll have the details, all of that, at the top of the hour. And you better listen to him because he knows what he's talking about. I agree. He's uh, from Texas. A reminder now to join me on the radio. Thank you, Roland. Monday through Fridays for the Lou Dobbs Show, 2 to 4 p.m. each afternoon on WR 710 Radio in New York City. Go to LouDobbsRadio.com, get the local listings for the Lou Dobbs Show on the radio. We'll be back with our panel in just a moment, and we'll find out exactly, exactly the course of events for next week. Stay with us. Two days of driving. Larry following me all the way in the new one. We round a corner and there it is, Subaru Heaven. You don't just let some wrecker haul your 300,000 mile Forester off to who knows where. You give that car a chance to live on, one part at a time. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Decisions, decisions. Which beneficial prepared meal tonight? <gasps> Roasted chicken recipe? Okay, savory rice and lamb stew. <laughs> You're right. Tonight is a beef stew kind of night. You've made another fine choice. Look at those beefy chunks all packed with protein, the real vitamin-rich vegetables, the wholesome grains. And you think you're getting spoiled, but it's so good for you, too. Beneful prepared meals. Three new entrees. Healthful, flavorful, beneful. It's spring. Fire ants, fleas, chinch bugs, and grubs are destroying your lawn from above and below ground. End the damage now with Bear Advanced Complete Insect Killer. Other leading brands control surface insects, but not root feeders. Complete's exclusive two-way formula kills insects above ground while it penetrates below ground to control root-destroying pests for up to three months. Damage ends, your lawn flourishes. Bear Advanced. Better science, better results. CNN next. Nothing's off limits when Roland Martin steps in at 8. Roland Martin on CNN coming up next. Retailers don't want you to see the information about to be disclosed. Hi, I'm Tony Galata. This is my wife, Carrie Galata. This is our house, my wife's greenhouse. And we furnish most everything in this house with products from direct buying. We purchased the breakfast table and chairs. We looked at that table at some other places. They ran around $3,500, and we picked it up for around $1,500. If you're building, remodeling, or simply redecorating a room, there's now a way to buy virtually everything you need at prices you never imagined possible. We've saved, I think, well over $20,000. Just on our kitchen alone, we saved almost $10,000. It adds up to about a thirty dollars to $40,000 savings overall. Call the number on your screen now to receive your free insider's guide to buying direct. Plus, you'll also receive a free visitor's pass for an exclusive tour of your local direct buy showroom. Call right now to get started buying the Direct Buy way. Stop paying retail and become part of Direct Buy, the private members-only showroom and design center. Don't wait another minute. Pick up the phone and call now. Time's most influential people. Anderson Cooper, CNN Tonight, 11 Eastern. I want to turn uh, now to Professor Swain. Uh, President Obama today, a, a proclamation calling Americans to display the flag uh, in observance of uh, May 1st, Law Day. I thought that was a terrific decision on his part, didn't you? I agree 100%. And I wish. I, I wonder why we don't see more demonstrations on support of uh, Law Day. We are first and foremost a nation of laws, right, Professor? Well, we should be a nation of laws, but I don't see many people being encouraged to actually follow those laws. Well, the president at least beginning the taking the lead. Hopefully that'll be a, a mark of days and years to come. Well, we would see. We're also a nation of immigrants, and that's 
part of what we also have to consider here. We, we have a proud tradition of being a nation of immigrants. Immigrants have made this country what it is today, all of us. And the and immigrants should follow so, the law like everyone is. And, 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 we're, and, and, we, the, and, and they, we all agree on that. We, we need a legal immigration and we need to fight for that. But I think we also have to separate legal immigration from illegal immigration. And I think one of the most intri intriguing and important aspects of today, Law Day, and of the debate we're now witnessing in Congress is that the principles you've outlined about putting border and port security first is now part of the mainstream of the American dialogue and now part of the mainstream of the dialogue in the Congress. Let's see if they may take action on those words. All right. Thank you very much, Robert. Appreciate it. Miguel, thank you. Thank you. Professor Swing, thank you very thank much. You. And